Hi oh, hey everyone. Uh, so recently I did a video covering uh, Royal Liverpool. You know the new course they added into the game for the Open Championship this week. Um, the week I'm recording, so this is obviously the Open week. Uh, ironically, though, uh, my career mode. This is still my rookie year, so obviously, um, well, it's going to have the St Andrews as last year's majors courses. But I was thinking, as I kind of talked about off and on, comparing and contrasting, like. Yeah, how it differed probably from St. Andrews, and I think, well, why not show it? I didn't want to do it in the last week because the video was already almost an hour long to begin with. But I thought, well, maybe I can, like, uh, since i got to play the first round, I do full rounds for the majors. Like, okay, we could play it. I'm going to have the commentary still on. Um, actually, hold on one second. Uh, okay, we'll have to change it in the game. Well, wait. We can do this real quick. I'll turn it down, though. Here we go. Turn it way down. And turn this down a little more, too. So this will be more of like a ga full gameplay. I'll, I'll still talk. Oh. Are you showing a cancel? No. I guess I forgot to say that. All right. But, um, but we'll talk a little about the course and you know, maybe a little bit of last year's open. So let's uh, do this real quick. Yep, sounds good. Um, watch the intro. This is a simple game, really. Golf. So why does it confound us so? Could it be the elements? The obstacles in our way? The pressure? The answer, of course, is all of it. And nowhere is it magnified more than here, at the birthplace of our game itself. This is St. Andrews, and this is the Open Championship. EA Sports, in conjunction with the RNA, present golf's oldest major and the final major championship of the year. From the home of golf, the old course at St. Andrews, it's the opening round of the 150th Open. This promises to be a fun four days, a lot of storylines to get to as we check out the early leaderboard. We've got a tie at the top at three under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer ready to begin the quest for the iconic Claret Jug. Anyway, so I'll let that play a bit. Um, you might have saw them you want to pop up now. Oh, so I mentioned like the grandstand, the last one. So here you can't really put it behind. That's what the clubhouse and building is. But they do have it on the side. And it's. I feel like even this doesn't do it just. Like, you can tell it's big, but it's it's massive. You see it on TV. In one year. Yeah, you've got me going, Rex, just listening to that. Incredible season. Um, I guess the only thing better than two. Now you see, we got the three. wind, so oh, it's going to carry this ball. Sure. Go low. Season. But, but you're right. It's, um, it's just been a great season. So why not finish it off? Sure. Why not have so two? this is kind of one thing we didn't have in the Liverpool in this because the default oh, settings. But here we got. First one out of the way, and that's going to be a good one to get this tournament started. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, so you got the wind there. As a missionary, you got a lot of the roll. Like that's just you know very There's common conditions of uh, Scott. Now the win, it won't really matter much with chip shots and stuff. It's really the long drives and the irons. Times, made the cut in nine of those years. So what was your secret for getting through to the weekend? I didn't even know that stat, Rich. Um, I, I think you just keep putting one foot in front of the other. You can't but yeah, see how that rolled? And these are like usually the conditions by default you know, when you play the career mode you know, majors are pretty it's tough. It's crazy, but you can tee off at 4 o'clock in the afternoon with these everybody teeing off the uh, the first hole. So um, I'm not going to say expect the unexpected. Really, no, that's what it is a bounce of roll gun. Remember that. So sometimes something hits I think they kind of have slightly unique graphics, graphics for the majors. Kind of represent you know, each major. You know, we see more of that yellow as mentioned early, you know, kind of the beginning or the beginning. The previous video mentioned that their color scheme is kind of like this, this royal blue of yellow. You kind of see that here too. 
middle spot, you want to be just to the right. Oh, and one thing they did mention this announcer, which is kind of why I decided to leave the announcers this time. Because I don't have as much to talk about. Well, that one had a lot more to talk about, so it's just kind of hard to, you know, go back and forth, you know, in the middle of conversation, stopping. But, um... Oh, what was he saying? Oh man, I apologize. I kind of lost my train of thought there. Oh, uh, but anyway. But yeah, see, there's that rollout. It almost rolled out, like you know, 100 yards. And we had that at Liverpool, um, which I think is gonna be a little tougher because here it's a little wider. Like here's one of these double greens here. See, see, there's another fly from another one. I say you just don't get that with the other ones. Now, this is a high enough shot. I gotta be careful. I see. Here. Even with the rough, that one's gonna carry it. Yep, see? It's gonna hit this mound. Uh, too much. Not bad, though. We'll putt it from there. But yeah, you kinda see, like, you really gotta, like, think more about how balls are gonna roll and so forth. But it's kind of interesting seeing the difference between this course and uh, Liverpool. You know, as I mentioned, Liverpool kind of very narrow. You know, a little more. I don't know, straight forward. Well, I'm not repeating what you just said because it's not a good word. Like, it's a little straight forward. Like, you have a really defined fairway and rough here. You don't. There's certain holes you got like stuff in the middle like that. But like, like this one here, it's like. Especially with the tees, but you know, these guys are good. They hit into this, and it's just like really just kind of playing where the balls are going to roll and stuff. Now, what I do think, I think this shares a fairway with a hole over there, actually. We'll look as we get closer. Yeah, and then you got these bunkers. So you got to be mindful of where things might carry, but you know, it's not about, you know, you, you have a little more leeway with your, uh, you know, being offline a bit. Oh no! Well, you wow! Got him drop it any better than that? That is a fine tee shot right there. Is that really a tee box I'm in the way? Like I know. Big drive got him here. Now a short one for his second. Yeah, that's a tee box. Yeah, I remember watching. That's the one downside seen injuries during the pros. There were some rounds took like six hours because there's just so many golfers like overlapping. Uh, you know between. Yeah, you know, like different holes, and like, you know, like here I'm in the fairway, but I'm like way left still, just the way it rolled, and it's like now I'm in the way. Ooh. Birdie putt coming up. We go. It's got a little break at the end. Yeah. Yeah, this one's a little bit downhill overall, with a break from left to right to consider also. Oh. Close. Very close. So that took the end of the car here to the third. And her remaining, let the use at one under. Yeah, it's a little different than Liverpool. They got more of these bump, like kind of big mounds in certain spots of the course, which you kind of, which you'll see. A, well, you won't see in this game, but you had had like Royal St. George's. So in certain courses, you know. So it's like, as I said, like the links, the links definition we ta I talked about before. It's all here. It's right off a of coast. There's a sea right over there. It's built on sand, basically. You know, it's wide open. You have these bushes and gore stuff. You know, rough and but so otherwise that's it. It's basically like playing the conditions, very firm. You know, so a lot of roll and you know bounces. It's just kind of like you know just kind of seeing what happens. You know, with the ball. 
and kind of just being ready for that. You know, I know how to, like, this one should be okay. Yes, sir. That's Oops. well done. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That was a little more forgiving, too, I feel like. But, yeah, so, you know, let's say you're going a little too far left. You're probably going to be in the bush or not for a while. This is second. So, let's say here. It was a little close, super hit the right idea. It's just come up a little shy. Outside chance for a birdie. Yeah, and putting, especially St. Andrews, well, in general, but like I think of last year, you know, Ken Smith won. His putting was really good. Like that, you know, that was really hard to beat. Like he was making a lot of putts, like, you know. Like that, where they'd be like 10, 15 okay. feet. Uh, yeah, didn't miss any short putts. Yeah, didn't really miss short putts. While like Rory, he couldn't get those putts to drop. Like he was still making pars, but when he had those birdie chances, he just did not convert. And so that's all it takes, something a little little. Especially at St. Andrews, because distance won't be really the issue. As you saw, that drive goes, it's just about your short, it's really more about, you know, you know strategizing where you need to be um, off the tee, and then kind of figuring out your approach shots and your short, you know, your putt, your short game, basically. In a way, you can almost say that a lot. I'm like, yeah, so It's cliche. You can say it almost like with a lot of golf, but with this course, you know, it's a little more, you know, not horrible off the tee. It's really about around the green that's really key. Yeah, you know, with other courses, like, you know, it's really, you know, you really got to be very accurate off the tee to have a chance. <laughs> oh, this is tough. Hold on. Oh, crap. We're going to be closer to the other tee. <laughs> yeah, so I'm close to that hole. There's another double green here. Good shot on it. Two on this par five, but work's not done yet. Uh, I'm a tough taskmaster. If he makes the putt, or at least gets down in two, then I'm going to congratulate him on himself. I think you can actually do this legally, but it's not really recommended. Can I actually flop it? No, oh, we'll do finesse. It's gonna leave it dead. This is gonna be really funny. Oh, it didn't. It'd be funny if it did. Ah, oh, that did not go well. I mean, I have a chance, but yeah. I didn't expect to win it. Push it back that much. That's the break that you really gotta consider here. It will come from right to left. You've gotta start it online, and you've got a good chance of getting it close. Yeah, yeah, that's a good butt from there. Yeah, a little Pretty more. Short, but not too bad. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he'll remain right where he is. You gotta love the names of the bunkers here, don't you? They tell you all you need Yeah, you know, it's funny. Like, all, all finish like minus eight or ten. And PG, man, I'm like 20, but you finish like minus six. Or eight in a major, you're like one in. Here, on the left, a series of bunkers on the right. Is this another double green or is that actually my T or my uh, pen? Let's see here. So the great nope. <laughs> I'm closer to the next one. Second. That's funny. Relatively close range. Well, a little offline, but at least we're within 10 feet. Footer now for his birdie. Oh, really? I didn't see anyone. Just didn't have the right 
Yeah, you can tell. Big difference in Liverpool. Liverpool, no double greens like that. And in fact, the greens are a lot smaller. Like, uh, St. Louis, they're massive. Uh, obviously, because of the chair. But even, like, like, let's take a look at this one. I think this one is an individual green. Yeah, it is. But look, look how big that green is. And then right over there, you got the tee box for the so, like everything's just like I mentioned, like all very close to it. Like it's a very walkable course for a lot of people, but obviously, it's still a lot. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Ooh. I see. Yeah. Let's see how this works. We're gonna try to strategize this a bit. Still gonna roll into the wind, no driver necessary, and that'll be just fine. Stay out of those bunkers. Okay, good. Let's do a spin shot right here. It's still, wow, that really rolled still. You just said it's okay, all about the firmness. A chance for the putter to do its thing. We turn to Notavigay the third for this look at birdie. And this has a pretty clear right to left break to it. Players gotta recognize the speed. This is one that guys leave short a little bit. Did I get it? Finally! Oh yes! Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. Yeah, see, another massive green. So it's just interesting to see the little. And I, think, I said the bunkers are a lot deeper here in Sydney. They got more of these mounds. Like, as we look uh, one more time. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Oh, and they put it. I'm taking a big risk here. Hopefully, it'll be okay. Well, I'm going left. Alon's not in the bunker. I had to do a, I want to do a high shot to really okay, eradicate some spin and roll, but the the green, yeah, the one is going to really going to hold it. Up. Substantial movement on this putt right to left, and it's from distance, so this one not just about speed, but line as well. Yeah, that's good pace, just a little off line, but not too bad from that far away. Yeah, but as I mentioned in the previous video, it's just, you know, this is actually a public course. You know, you can book tee times year-round almost. You know, maybe they close in the harder winter. Um, it, it's weird in, like, with this part of the country, like in Scotland. It's like, I think they think it's snow. It's not, with the British Isles, it's just usually cool. Like, it, it'll get chilly. Like, it'll be in the 40s and so forth, or maybe 30s, but it doesn't, like... They don't get a lot of snow in San Andreas. Like, I, let's see here. Like, they'll get some, I believe, but it's like light, you know. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so the average temperature, the high is 40 degrees in December, the low is 36. So, so, it's, so they, you know, they have chance against snow. It just doesn't usually happen too often. And it's like, and it's cold, but you know, again, and also uh, like this type of grass, you know, it's, you know, it might be dead, but they can still play on it. Like it's just, you know, it's very sandy. You know, very light grass, you know, minus the rough and gorse, which just, just you know, thrives no matter what it feels like. Yeah, good looking shot there. Well placed in the fairway. 
But yeah, a good example when they had the open, you know, their average temperature around uh, 58 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's like, you know, so definitely a lot warmer than 40 for the average. But you get in a sense like it, the, you know, it's it's definitely not like a warm. It's not like a, you know, you know, major, you know, a, ma a warm climate by any means in the summer. Like the wind carried. Oh. Did not see that coming. Okay, that's acceptable there. Now this, the birdie. And players have a option to take less Now the one thing though, the play at St. Andrews, you need at least a handicap of 25 or better. Which, like mine's actually around 20. Like, I'm not that good. I'm in the 20s, slow 20s. So I do qualify, but part of me is like, I'd rather be consistently like, you know, maybe like in the teens before I would play there. Just because, and I think a couple of reasons. One, and that's gonna make they really want people to be, I guess, like, the front side. you know, like, they actually golf, like, they care about the game, they, they went out of the trouble to create a handicap, you know, and, and to establish all that. But, also, I think slightly, which, let me be fair, I don't think, maybe there is a difference, like, between a typical random duffer and someone that has a savage handicap to at least get the pace of play. Because, yeah, I mentioned it, it's kind of an issue, especially with the pros, it gets really more challenging with all that. Yeah, penalize them, blah, 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 blah. But, but it seems like, um, you know, with the general public, they'd want to at least keep, like, you know, like, like, you know, uh, pardon me. Rumbling my words here, just you know, discombobulating my head. Oh, I can't believe that going on. Look at that. But basically, to kind of keep the pace of play decent. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it off. What a shot! It's gonna break at first. Like, look at this. Oh, that's been a heck of an eagle, but I'll take the birdie. Doesn't quite get the reward of the eagle, but a birdie would be a, a nice consolation, right? Well done there. It's a birdie to kick off a back nine. And he'll move to three under here. Just one shot off the lead. Frank, number 11, the eagle is really one of the more fascinating balls in all of golf. The two bunkers in the quiet from the morning, the square bunker in front, and the whole bunker to the what makes those two bunkers so difficult is the steepness of the faces. Now, one thing I didn't saw in video, but this is like pre-COVID. Oh my god. I'm about to play it safe. Hope for the best here. Uh, so, I think there are ways to get tee times way ahead of time, but then it's like, you know, I'm on their website, and they do like ballots, like, the play on July 21st, the ballot closes when, you know, on Wednesday around, uh, let's see, 14, so it's, uh, 2 o'clock, you know, 2 p.m. But I remember, like, you can go in there early in the morning, there'd be people lying up overnight, or like, early, like, 4 in the morning. And I think they open like the office around six or seven, and then you can like see if you can get a tea time that day. Like they'll see stuff like people will like wait in the morning. But this is back in pre-COVID though, so I have to be fair. I don't know if it's still like that. And obviously, the demand. Oh, I can't believe that I went in. Nice. If I were going to up the difficulty of the AI, be worried to win three majors in one year. Like, they need to get, like, the winner last year can't set if aggro is minus 20, so I think we need to score around that for St. Andrews. Uh, but I was saying is, like, I, that I don't know, because I know COVID is kind of wonky all that, so, but... You know, it was kind of cool that did that, and then also like, you know, they got these little ballots of extra tea times, or to save some maybe just for the day of, and you go out like in the afternoon or something, or it was a, like a group of three, and they got like a four spot open, or someone canceled. 
But again, you know, it, it might have changed uh, since then. Yeah, so I got this, the old course ballot. Due to the overwhelming popularity, they, they uphold a tradition of ballot lottery drawn two days ahead of play, except for Sundays and tournament days. This enables golfers who are in the area to still have the opportunity to play the old course during their visit. That's just cool. Like, you, you know, you don't really see that. You know, and it says the public spirit of St. Andrews Lane is going to stay in its open, accessible to all golf lovers. Except you got to have a handicap at least of 25 and better. I think it is. Let's see the. Uh, uh, Not much to this one. It's for birdie. Um, I don't trust that one. Oh, I see. so. I thought it was twenty-five. Oh, it's actually 36. Never mind. Why, though? That's like a 36. Like, when I was shooting, like, in the 120s, I was running 36. You know, I'm way below that now. Let me see that. I thought it was 25. They made a change. Oh. oh, here we go. This is from sixteen. What well, says this is a form? It says sixteen. It was around 24, 25, so I guess they must have raised it. Hmm. Yeah, but anyway, that's also something you can never see that elsewhere, too. Well, except for, I think, Royal St. George's. They want a handicap like 10 or something. Like, you had to be really good to play there. You know, I'll have one of the public teams. I don't know if members, it'd be funny to have members, too. <laughs> like, I bet the. We had good round going more here on this on Thursday, that. and that another. Fun it is interesting. You kind of watch when the wind really pushes that ball in. It really kills a lot of the spin. Ball. Iona, a second coming up. An impressive tee shot. Managed to take the third of those coffin bunkers out of play, but the job's not done. This is a challenging approach shot. Yeah, look at that one pushing it back, but that's going to work. Well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. Chance now. Another birdie. Well, I've really been impressed with how he's handled the speed on the greens, but this one is going to be a tester down the hill. Oh, no, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. But yeah, so I guess to be honest, the 36 is very accessible. It's in for par, and this will stay a one-shot lead. Now that said, they actually they run multiple courses. Um, but this really just applies to the old course. Um, and then they got, the reason to call it the old course because they also got the new courses built. The new course is built in 1895. <laughs> so go figure. Yeah, the, the concept of time is very different over there. This one working up the right side. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. 
Now from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five. Yeah, and you see we got a lot more mounds here too in lower for low pro is definitely a little more flatter. Really trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. What's the pitch though? Oh, this is tough. Nope. Drop a shot now. Hey, that's a tough location. Get that mount right there. Wow. Next one back. There's a safe park, and this will remain a one shot advantage. Now at St. Andrews, infamous road hole, often considered the most difficult part of the game of golf. As a shot has to fly the railway sheds and the grounds of the old course hotel, landing a narrow fairway beyond. Tee shot. Now a second from 173. All right. We'll keep it regular. You know, uh, uh, yeah, let's keep it a regular. See what happens. Yeah, that works pretty well. Oh, could be closer. Oh, look good in the air. You'd like to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet. Just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Okay, a solid par here at the 15, and he'll stay at 500. Stretch here at St. Andrews at the challenging 381 yard par 46. I love this closing stretch at St. Andrews, so this is actually a narrow, more narrow um, par four. They got some really tight bunkers, you know, spots they could easily roll into if you aren't careful. Um, I believe, is it this one or the, the next one? But there's like a the green, it's like, there's like a wall, like a stone wall that hugs the green. Yeah, I think it's the next one. That will do just fine. I tell you what, I've ever did play here. From the fairway, I really need to learn how to hit six. balls below above my yeah, feet, because that's one thing with these mounds. You have a ball hanging on a mound, it's like kind of above your feet, right or side, you're standing on a mound looking below, like there's, there's a... I mean, I'm about to say art, but there's a way to handle it, and I struggle with those. I think the one will push it back with the nine. Oop. Oh, yeah, look at that. Here on day one. Yeah, this one's always cool. 
Yeah, there's the stone wall. And for the pros, their team buys. You gotta hit over this hotel here. It's just so fun. I love it. This is a tough green. Like it's it's awkward shape. You got a bunker right there. Not like a little bunker. It's like deep. Yes, yeah, so you gotta hit over this hotel. Um, oh yeah, I didn't mention earlier, but this is one of the few courses that's been you know in the Tiger Woods. Or sorry, the it's EA Sports PGA Tour now, but yeah, it was also a staple uh, in the Tiger Woods series for a long time. Like it's. You know, definitely a classic yeah, course. So it's definitely been good, it? in the, you know, this series of games. You know, God, who knows? Maybe since the first one. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. No, it wasn't in '99. Was it in 2000? No. I know it. It, it didn't take long. It was on the PS2. Oh no, I'm curious. I'm trying to look this up. We'll do another shot. So we got one. Uh, say one. Oh. Oh, that's tough. Let's go here. Ooh, I know. Let's uh let's sneak it in. No one's gonna push it. Oh no. I think it's okay. I see no they don't have fans on that sidewalk, but I don't think Gonna have to be a little careful with this one. It's for birdie. Ah, oh, Tiger Woods 04 added it. So, and it was basically in there. Yo. Yeah, like, I'm looking here. No, wait. Oh, no, I it added an 03. So, yeah, it was the PS2 era. And it was basically in every Tiger Woods game until they ended it in 14. They had in Roy McIlroy, and they got it back in this. So yeah, it's definitely a staple, of course. And you know, it kind of makes sense. You know, I think I mentioned in the previous video they post. They usually get the open very often. Yeah, you know, they've had a couple times five-year gaps, but within let's say seven, you know, at least once, but likely twice within a ten-year span. Sometimes it's like within five, sometimes within, you know, uh, you know, seven years. But they'll get it quite often, and it's had it. It's either had the most or second most when I was looking at it, but it'll probably have the most soon. I think the most. The course I hosted the most was stopped in the 30s or 40s, so obviously it's gonna have a. You know, it's been around since 1860, you know, it's gonna change a bit. But yeah, see, here's the final hole. There's back hole one, and it shows the exact same fairway. Only difference is the creek's not in play. It's the only thing you gotta really worry about. It's the only water you really have ever, ever seen on this course in Link's Way, is that little creek here. Yeah, I get to go over the bridge. I have been on that bridge. It's really cool. Yeah, see, it kind of hugs the town here. Like, you'd be walking around that block, and it's just right there. Like, it's just so wild. Um, and there's some other courses that are, like, that kind of nearby a town, or just, you know, you, you just be there. It's like, you know, but not, but I'd say Sanders is the most unique in that regard. Now, when the wind's behind your back, you can easily carry it. Yeah, what's cool is kind of like some of the golfers when they're about to retire. Now, it'll be interesting about Tiger Woods in a second, but like, you know, like Tom Watson, they'll, they'll, they'll stop and take a picture, you know, all together, you know, on the bridge and then kind of give them the moment to kind of stay on top of the bridge and wave to the crowd as to say goodbye to the Open, basically, in terms of their professional career. Um, you know, Nick Father did that. Tiger kind of... It's interesting, like with the group of Tiger, they kind of backed off when he's walking over, and he didn't stop on the bridge. He kind of walked through, but I was kind of cheering. He was getting kind of teary-eyed, but 
It'd be interesting. If he, I think he will try and come back. It just depends on the injuries, but he has, like, he gets since he's won it. He gets an invite till he's 60 years old, so he's definitely not like he can always go back. It's just he's very competitive in nature, so it'd be interesting if he actually will or not if he feels he can't get me. If he thinks it's just going to be, yeah, we accept the role of a ceremonial golfer. I don't know. 65, outstanding. Our featured golfer today, Frank, you can say definitely likes this golf course. He's got me after round one. Some golf courses, they just, they just appeal to me. Yeah, you can see, like, it, the one downside of San Andreas with a professional game, and really distance is really bridge a lot of that. No, he created, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's not for flying. It's just like, you know, the aggro is minus 20. Now, I'm at minus seven, but you know, with the win and stuff, there's a chance of bogey. I didn't bogey at all today. I did really well, but there's signs I will bogey or be short or misjudge the win a bit. So, but, and that's the only downside. Like, it, it has struggled with more today's game, but man, there's just something. And this is just a game, but it, it captured, they, they literally mapped the course out, like how it is in real life, you know, with the bumps and everything. They're like, it's just something special seeing something like that. You know, it looks basic at first, and it kind of is in, to an extent, but it's like crazy mounds, pop bunkers. You're walking the same land that's been utilized for, you know, since the 1500s. You know, all the greats have walked, you know, a lot of the greats have walked through there, have even won there. So, and you got this town, like, once you're done, you just walk into town and grab a pint. Like, it's just, there's something special about that, in my opinion, but... Anyway, I hope you guys kind of enjoy. I made it a little different. Didn't want to talk as much, but more like to show the case, the course, and kind of compare and contrast that uh, to Liverpool. And as I mentioned, that's my only disappointment. I wish there was a few more of the Scottish links courses, or sorry, um, uh, the the British Isle links. I'll say British Isle because they have some great courses in Ireland as well. Obviously, uh, England. We finally got an English course here. Uh, but just, you know, some of these courses in the open road or even have like hosted like um, Like the Ryder Cup like you have Celtic. I think it's Celtic Manor Is that the one that hosts? No, nah, that's not a Lynx course. I apologize. I think that's That's a little different, but there's some Really great course over there. I wish there was a little not like a full emphasis, but maybe like more than at least like two on the default game We didn't really get that uh, but that said, they kind of made up with like Terry Eady and some other cool courses, and Bandon Dunes especially, which is great. So, but at least we finally got Liverpool, we got San Andreas, we got Bandon Dunes, so we got a little like scoff here to have some fun with. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. You have a good evening or day or whenever you're or morning or whenever you're watching this. Take care. Bye bye.